Hi, my name is Whitney Cal. I'm reading from The Love Cards by Robert Lee Camp today. I'm going to read the tens. Now, how do you know if you're a ten or not? Well, each ten, the ten of hearts, they all have birthdays associated with them. And I have posted those in the videos in the comments below uh, to find out what your cards of destiny are is what this is from. You can always Google. Google always teaches me everything I need to know. But the tens is interesting. That's my number. And I'm going to go through and have the different sections with each number, depending on what your main card is or your planetary ruling card. And the reason I use this information is because I think it's so helpful in self-awareness and learning about myself. And then also when I meet new people, I would like to learn about them, whether it's going to be in a business relationship or personal. I think it's very helpful to better understand who someone is. To truly understand the tens, this is me, by the way, I'm a 10 of clubs and a 10 of spades. <clears throat> we must also be familiar with the aces because these two cards are very much alike and share important qualities. The 10 even has the familiar one in front of its name. This alone should be a clue to the student of the cards as to the nature of the, of the people of these cards. Like the aces, tens possess a lot of drive and ambition. Also like the aces, tens can be very self-centered or selfish. This can be evidenced further by realization that all of the tens have at least one ace in a prominent position in their life spread. The Ten of Hearts and the Ten of Diamonds both have the Ace of Hearts and Ace of Diamonds in their life spread. The Ten of Hearts and the Ten of Diamonds both have the Ace of Hearts and the Ace of Diamonds in their life spread. The Ten of Clubs has the Ace of Clubs. And I have a couple people in my life that are also the Ace of Clubs. And the Ten of Spades has the, the Ace of Spades. So the Ten of Spades is my um, planetary card, my planetary ruling card. These Aces cause the Tens to be on a soul search over the course of their life. For sure. Here I am. They turn their attention upon themselves to find answers and reasons for the value of their life. To others, this can show up as selfishness. While they are focused upon their own feelings, thoughts, needs, and desires, the 10 may not pay much attention to others in their environment. Indeed, many 10s look upon themselves as selfish. And it is an important personal issue that they must come to terms with during the course of their lifetime. Are they truly selfish? Is being selfish really a bad thing? Is there such a thing as good selfishness? Is there a way to balance out the needs of others with their own? These are all questions they must answer for themselves. The main difference between tens and aces is the zero after the one and what the, that represents. Just as an eight is two fours, the 10 can be looked upon as two fives. Interesting. Five being the number of experience, the 10 person has a great deal of experience they can draw upon for success. This zero represents the experience of completing a major cycle of evolution. Going all the way from the ace through the nine and now to the 10 where a new cycle begins. However, in this new cycle, the 10 will carry with it all of the wisdom that was acquired in the previous cycle. This explains why the tens have such a capacity for success in their life. All tens have great success potential and may rise to prominence if that is what they desire. Their suit will tell us the main area of their wisdom and success in this lifetime. The ten of hearts has a command over people or children. The ten of clubs arrived here with a head full of knowledge to share with the world. <laughs> it's a head full for sure. The Ten of Diamonds can handle a business with ease, the larger the better, and the Ten of Spades has the drive to accomplish anything they set their minds to. That's why I like having both cards. They are unparalleled workers and achievers. That's true. Unlike the Aces, the Tens don't have to learn very much to achieve success. 
They do like to learn new things, but they already possess a great deal of experience, which they discover as they apply themselves to their careers. The zero is also the number we associate with the Joker. The Joker is the only card in the deck which has no personal identity. As a matter of fact, I didn't do a reading for it, the Jack or the Joker. Instead, the Joker borrows identities from other cards and can essentially become that card for whatever length of time he or she chooses. The 10 person also has the capacity to some extent, also has this capacity to some extent to change. So I can go into different um, identities. That's interesting. They, ha they have all the numbers from the ace through the nine already under their belt. They understand all the principles and abilities of these numbers and can imp implement their qualities as at will. It is interesting to note that the two of the tens, the 10 of clubs and the 10 of hearts have jacks as their first karma card. These jacks act much like the Joker, the Joker being the jack of all jacks in the deck or the super jack. With jacks as karma cards and with the other tens having jacks in their life path, we see that tens and jacks have some strong connection that may further connect them to the Joker and its propensity for multiple personalities. The downside of being a 10 is that they can become obsessive with respect to something about their suit. The 10 of hearts can be obsessed with their families or with their audiences if they are performers. The 10 of clubs have difficulty sleeping at night. Yes, I do. Because their heads are so full of thoughts and ideas. The 10 of diamonds can make money the most important thing in their life. And the 10 of spades can be the world's worst workaholic and type A personality. God, that's my second card. The obsession can become destructive in some cases. Tens can be very all or nothing kind of people. When they pursue something, they go full tilt. When they crash as they go to the opposite extreme, they can get hooked or on harmful things because all or nothing is an addictive prone personality type. Luckily, I've been sober for 21 years. We can relate tens to the 10th house of the astrological chart. The 10th house is governed by Saturn and is concerned with reputation and career. Many tens, it will be noted, have either strong 10th house planets or planets in Capricorn, or they are aspected by Saturn in their natal charts. The, this creates a drive for prominence and achievement, and in some cases, an emotional need for attention and recognition. It is part of the tens life work to understand this drive and to come to terms with it. Yes, tens can achieve great things, things that we may applaud for them, but the real question they must answer is whether they did it for the right reasons. Only they know the answer to do to this. If approached consciously, their work will bring additional happiness to them and those around them. If not, it will cause one problem after another and deprive them of the real goal for which they were working. Tens like the rest of us are seeking inner contentment and peace. In this case, there see, this seems to come through the avenue of achievement, success, recognition, and respect. Over the course of their lifetime, they will learn that even these qualities must come from within. Reminds me of what one of my mentor coaches has said to me, Marshall Thurber, is um, you can't get enough of what you don't need. So achievement, success, recognition, and respect. <laughs> it comes from within. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it landed for you. Again, it came from Love Cards by Robert Lee Camp, one of my favorite books of self-awareness and acknowledging who I am. Cheers.